Hello everyone, hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be unboxing an album from my childhood. And in fact, it's a very special album because it's the first album I ever owned. Um, my dad had got it for me as a CD when it came out. Um, God, this is, I think it came out in 2005. So I would have been about six. I was born in 1997. Um, and this band had some really big hits back in the day. A few of them are on this album. And I remember I loved it for years. And the next album they come out with, I absolutely adored them. Um, unfortunately, uh, some of the songs on this album are really dated. Uh, they sounded great in 2005, but they have not aged well at all. Whereas others on this album sound great. You know, sort of a mixed bag. I mean, I still love it, but there are there, we'll get into the songs or song, but <laughs> some are great, some not so much so. Um, along with so, there's already a few months ago, I did a full on video of my childhood memories and childhood the music I loved as a child. So I'll link that down below if you want like the full story. But uh, Linkin Park, Green Day, and the All American Rejects for years with the three bands that I loved and the only three bands I ever listened to. Uh, but before that, when I was younger, like uh, Green Day, Linkin Park and the Re All American Rejects is more like eight years old and onwards. But before that, the only band I really listened to was this band. And I'm, I'm gonna stop rambling on and I'll show you this. So, here's on Amazon, let me just turn up. And now I can show you, <coughs> we have this band with all the right reasons. This band's Diamond Certified Album, available on the first time on vinyl. Available for the first time on vinyl. So I haven't been able to find this because originally the Nickelback stuff was not released on vinyl. And it was only like released as like a special edition thing a few years ago. For their anniversary so it was hard to find but i finally found it on amazon um it was on i don't know whether they were just out of stock but i haven't been able to find it anywhere else and yet this is the first album i ever owned uh, all the right reasons by nickelback uh with songs like photograph look at its photograph and, and of course rockstar i'm sure it was standing in line and the clubs on ever getting <laughs> Sorry, ignore me. Um, I can't sing. But this is like, this is a nostalgia trip for me. That is so cool. Uh, so we have Follow You Home, For All The Right Reasons, Photograph, Animals, Saving Me, Side 2 is Far Away, the Next Contestant, Side of a Bullet, If Everyone Cared, Someone that you're with, and it closes with, with uh, closes with rock star. Um, <clears throat> they all they have these really nice sleeves. This isn't the only Nickelback one I've got. I'll show you the other one, which I didn't unbox on the channel. That was a TikTok exclusive unboxing because it wasn't that great. But <laughs> anyway, it's a nice label. Um, but yeah, so the song I was talking about that's a bit outdated is Animals. The song is about. Um, <laughs> Uh, you, you, going out with your girlfriend and hoping that their parents don't know um, and then while you're driving along your girlfriend is uh, doing certain things to a certain part of your body uh, I have to be careful because of YouTube but yeah that's what the song's about and then uh, when like in the closing bit of the song they, they reveal that the parents had found them and uh, Nickelback or Chet what's his name is it Chet Kruger it's not Chad, it's Chad. Sorry, Chad. I'm being silly. Uh, <coughs> Chad is singing that I'm trying to tell her mum it's her mouth that I was kissing. And it's just going back to the Prince video where I said that Prince made sex songs really well and other artists can't do that. This is one of the ones that cannot do that. It's really, really creepy. But otherwise, all the other songs, I do really enjoy them. Even Rockstar. I mean, it's really dated. Like... It's, it was a huge hit when this came out, but for now, nowadays, it's not one of the greatest songs. But I think, like, the biggest deal with this band, the reason why this band gets so much hate on the internet, 
is because they're not really good at one thing. There's not one thing about this band that really stands out to you or to anyone. But they're also not really bad at much of anything. They're just in the middle, you know, and a lot of their stuff seems a bit bland and a bit samey. Even as a fan of a fan, a fan of their stuff, I can admit that it's a bit, you know, some of it's a bit samey, but I am really excited to listen to this. This is 2003's The Long Way The Long Road by Nickelback. This is their, their previous album, it's the one I've already got. Uh, the only song, I mean, it's a great album, but the only song you probably know is Someday, which is a really good song. But yeah, I'm really excited to listen to this because it is a childhood anthem. And again, I can't believe, like, I grew up listening to songs like that on the, that album. And I, I was five or six. There's no way I could have understood the lyrics on the song Animals. As well as, as I started to get older, I would get into Eminem. And this is around the time where relapse come out. <laughs> There's no swear word way that I understood the lyrical themes on that album, but I'm beside myself. Uh, thanks for watching. I know I tend to ramble on. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you again probably on Friday because I'm going to buy some Prince albums. Take care, everyone.